Uh, CPUT it started officially on the 28th of February 2008. Uh, SRT is the French South African Institute of Technology, which is a collaboration between universities in South Africa and, and France. The first year, students spend in an academic environment where they do mostly theoretical studies. The second year is then spent on their research projects, after which they then obtain their MTech in electrical engineering from CPUT. In addition to that, they also get an MSc in electronics from ESIA, which is engineering school in Paris. Having graduated, we've implemented a professional development plan where the students then hone their skills on a more technical side and we expose them to the very high-end industry and technology of satellite engineering. South Africa does have an ambitious satellite technology plan for the next decade or so. And we are providing the first wave of students who will actually be part of that very exciting program. The outreach project for FSAT, we go out because we are about satellite engineering. My aim is to pull in as much kids as I can. The first and foremost thing that I do is about encouraging them to do maths and physics higher grade because this they really need. Maths and science is part of our daily lives because like it helps us to to understand how the living how the world we live in works. There's a lot of job opportunities in maths and physics alone and it's like you can get very far with it and the world of today, math and physics is essential. We explain in the simplest way of what it is so they understand and what we do most of the time is we do like the hands-on activities, you know. Kids get bored very easily so you have to, to keep them working so they'll be able to grab the concept or, of what are the satellites. Our outreach program is based on CANSATs. CANSATs are fun satellites that are literally flying soda cans um, that we put electronics in um, you, and then with a weather balloon you send it up and it will send down pictures. Uh, in the past two years we've reached about 6,000 learners this way, exposing them to satellite technology in a fun way. Uh, they, are, they are building up a, a model of a satellite they would actually know how a satellite is designed, uh, the different components required to build up a satellite, and also how it is going to be launched. So I think uh, it's very important to the learners actually. We have the engineers right now, or we're busy training the engineers. So to be able to fill up or to fill in that pool, you know, so that we, we keep on getting these, these uh, kids who are interested in space and electrical engineering as well. So we have to go get them at the high schools. The space agency is going to need engineers. A lot of people think that a space agency is only about the science and the space, but we, need, we have a lot of infrastructure that needs to be looked after. We have a lot of infrastructure we want to develop, both ground-based and satellite-based. So we're going to need RF engineers, we're going to need satellite engineers, we're going to need electronic engineers. We need our young people to, to be passionate about science, and the responsibility is on us, as SANSA, as CPUT, and everyone, to motivate them, to encourage them, and to say to them, there's a future in science. Come and do science. Science is cool. We're the only one in South Africa that, that's currently at this program. If you get through the FSATI program, you know what you're talking about. Inside out, you know it. The CubeSat project as a whole is, it, all the subsystems is basically the same as what you will get in a, in a big, real life, big, normal satellite. You get to meet people from all over the world. You have an extensive network. Sometimes it's referred to as a, as a very expensive toy, but it's, it's, it's really not. And it will, it will definitely go into space. We constructed a lab in this building uh, with research facilities, research area, and um, prototyping area where the students can build electronics for the satellites. We also installed a production facility where we can build the satellites. There's a, there's a soldering area where we can build up subsystems. There's a flight model area where we can test and refine these, these, um, these built-up models. And then there's a clean room with, with a filtered air supply where we assemble the final model of the satellite. At the end of the day, we also provide them with the tools to engage the space industry here or elsewhere in Africa. We built the ground station in the, in the first semester of this year. And it was built here in, at CPUT on the roof of the Goldfields Engineering Building. In the period directly after launch, um, uh, most groups require support 
from as many ground stations as they possibly can to make sure that they can track the satellite at all times and to maximize contact time with their satellites. Today we've seen the birth of the satellite we've all spoken about and dreamt about for the past year. One of the great things about this program is it's allowing students to be around for the entire lifetime of a satellite. When you build a, a bigger satellite or a communication satellite or a space weather satellite, it takes a long time to build that satellite. From design, concept design to launch is longer than the, the standard length of a student's degree. So most students only ever see a part of the satellite they're working on. The students that are here today were here when we started with the concept of this and they got, get to see their own satellite. Five years from now, we are looking at a constellation of satellites, and we believe that uh, going forward, as uh, years progress and we launch more, we'll look back at this one and say, this is where we started and this is where we are.